The name Merchant Ivory is synonymous with beautifully crafted costume dramas. From A Room with a View to Howard's End, the films are well known for their precise attention to detail and their rich style of production. The partnership of James Ivory and Ismail Merchant began, however, long before the adaptation of those Forster novels, when the producer and the director joined forces to create what's now probably the most famous independent film company in the business. The business began back in 1961, when Merchant and Ivory set up a production company to make films in India that would appeal to a Western audience. In the 70s, Merchant Ivory began to make productions set in America, such as Savages and Wild Party, starring Raquel Welsh. They also made their first adaptation of a Henry James novel, The Europeans. It was not until 1983, however, that the company had its first commercial success, with Heat and Dust, set back in India. The film starred an unknown called Greta Skaki. Hello, Ismail. Uh, <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Are you trying to interrupt my interview? <laughs> no. My God, I just wanted to talk do. about you. But good. I yeah. should stand here. Ismail is always saying, I made you into a star. <laughs> I'm the one. You owe everything to me. 50% of everything you earn. I don't think I've ever been in a film that was such a good role and such a happy experience. Why should anyone tell me what I can stand and what I can't stand? Do you really want to know? The one thing I can't stand is English women. Themselves. Do you purposefully cast unknown actors in your films? No, I don't, uh, I don't do that. Um, but just to... Uh, as you're casting a film, you meet a lot of people you you know you've never you've never seen their work. You don't know who they are. They're they're new to you. I mean, to me, they have to have a kind of in, an individuality of some kind of. There has to be something striking about their personality. Um, by that, I don't mean uh, that they have. To, there has to be some sort of flamboyant actorish thing going on. But there has to. You have to feel that there is a a, a real person there. Their talent for finding unknowns was illustrated to the full when they cast Helena Bonham Carter in their most successful film to date, A Room with a View. The adaptation of the Forster novel won three Oscars and has made over $75 million at the box office. I did A Room with a View 10 year, 11 years ago with them and Howard's End about six years ago. Um, and um, there was already a, a quantum leap of the standard of sort of luxury available between the two, of available on set, and, because they, don't, they didn't have very much money. And you'd always earn uh, work for, for relatively little. Um, and all the money that they'd have, all the budget would go up on, uh, on screen. They followed the success of A Room With A View with another Forster novel, Maurice. You can't trust anyone else. Even our outlaws, all this will be taken away from us if people knew. Precisely. By continuing like this, you and I are risking everything we have. Jim's an odd man, you know, he never speaks. Uh, <laughs> he just stands there and, and watches you and sort of tugs at his ear and says, yeah, I guess it's okay, you know. And um, Ismail is the exact reverse, you know, unbelievably noisy, rushing around in his dhoti. Miss Little. Margaret. I don't think you quite understand. Oh, yes. Indeed, yes. I'm asking you to be my wife. Yes, I know. I know. Are you offended? How could I be? Well, perhaps I should have written first. I'm... No, no, rather you will receive a letter from me. Thank you. Not at all. And it's you, I thank. This is, in fact, that very same staircase where Anthony Hopkins proposed to Emma Thompson in Howard's End. Merchant Ivory are, of course, renowned for their beautiful locations, and people spend months searching for the right room or street to give a scene the exact quality they're looking for. The pair are also well known for making films with very little money in Hollywood terms, with Ismail often persuading people to work for a much lower fee than normal. I mean, if you are to be independent, film producer or a film company, you have to have that, you know. You have to have uh, the sixth sense, you know. Uh, 
and 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 and, and become almost like you know like an uh, to to get money from people is not easy you know and you have to stand like an elephant in you know, a swing